we're looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Angus crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan it's huh. shocking how much of the business you. has moved to the internet. Yeah, sure, but... I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know it all every time, kid. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Ah, uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go! Made it! Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep it slow, keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on right now. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. Let's not get stuck here. There we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 four four with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. It's going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. Let me go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch. All right, hang on tight. Oh, <laughs> uh, we ain't got no auto club out here, Nathan.
Life is slow, kid. Yeah. So maybe you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection. British authorities were closing in on them. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. <laughs> Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. Got some big plans for this winch. Pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah, They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. I right, just gotta put the winch back and we'll be on our way. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage and eat. Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. But the point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, it's still taking a long time. Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. Yeah, that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. You're on. For the usual amount. Ah, uh, you're on.
How's it? You had that dungus hooked up yet? We're all set up. Just waiting on approval from Nadine to blow it. Good. Life looks empty. I'd like to get it over with and move on. Okay, I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here?
Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. No, turn into it. <clears throat> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Ray? No, that's <clears throat> not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. So Rape's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Just thinking the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam. If you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. You to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get... Uh... Ah, see that smoke? Shoreline, slow down. Shoreline, idiots. We're clear. <laughs> hey, look. Anything in that pit? Check it out. Maybe there's something down there. <clears throat> What were you saying, Nate? Oh, uh, right. If you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Check this out. What if that's man-made or natural? 
Looks to me to be half and half. Sorry, you were saying? Um, oh, right. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like you could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got... Check oh. it out, boys. What is it? Cool. You can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. <clears throat> hey, guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline, Mercs? I can't tell. So, oh, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. And especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Here we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge? How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect something inside. Busted. There's no way up to the crank. I'll see if I can find something to stand on. sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. Anne Bonnie. Hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. Thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too.
see a big crate or something way up at the top of the tower. Maybe that'll do the trick. Hey guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam! Special delivery! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey kid, you all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm-hmm. I've seen a few. I'll bring the car closer. <sighs> You just relax. I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know. <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid.
Let's get that bridge down. Try that again. There we go. Big tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? Now, not to nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? Take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure in the way. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. What are you exactly expecting? There we go. All set. Here we go. Easy. are overreacting. The whole thing under control. Get in that way. Sam, give me a hand with this. 
Yeah. Let's see what we got here. There's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Hey, careful with that thing, kid. Heads up! Then heads up. He's got a lot riding on this. Don't see a treasure, though. Hey guys, I'm coming. <clears throat> Come check this out. Saint Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too. And that's, uh... Um, that's Adam Baldridge, that's uh, Joseph Farrell, and that's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? You gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. Whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. The trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Hector, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery Sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's got to be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here.
Let's hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. <laughs> Sam? Yeah, over here. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Confirming a suspicion. <laughs> Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed. Okay, because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. But still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that no, one. No, 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 no. No, Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. If you run into any of those shoreline clowns, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 